we're with uh, Altrincham's new signing, Matty Cosolo, um, speaking in the boardroom at the Jade Everson Stadium. Matty, first of all, a very warm welcome to Altrincham Football Club. Um, I think Phil Parkinson has been an admirer of yours for, for some time. You've probably been aware of that. Um, yeah, uh, I don't want to say yeah and big myself up because I'm not like that, but um, me and Parky have had a good relationship since since uh, he took over at Nantwich. Um, I was I was struggling football wise at the time, and uh, f- for for what he did for me, I'll always I'll o- I'll always have that that level of respect for him because he he, he got me focused on and off the pitch, um, and from there I sort of kicked on and went for went for a move to Halifax, and we've stayed in touch ever since because of that. Um, so yeah, uh, I knew he'd do well when he came here. Um, and we've always kept in touch since he's been here, uh, and with the promotion and me me not having the rubber green at, at my last club, um, it was a no brainer for me. It, I know uh, a lot of players have said that about Phil Parkinson that the, it, he's he's been great for them and he gets the best out of them. Uh, he's straight up and you know where you are with him. Um, but it, it, is it possible to explain exactly what it was with you? I mean, is it is it what he says to you, or uh, how he treats you, or is it something specific that makes you think I really want to do my best for this bloke? Um, I'll tell you. I'll tell you a few things. So when he when he got the job at Nantwich, um, and this is this might sound an obvious thing to do as a manager, but he he, he rang me rather than just a message or wait until the first session. Um, he rang me, didn't know each other. Um, told me positive things which again little, it's something little but it, it was good um, told me that he'd heard good things and I'd not had a great season and I don't think I'd scored at that point and it was I can't remember the point of the season but um, I scored in one of the first games that we played and it just little things he makes you feel uh, probably like you're better than what you are um, He's you've probably realised since he's come here he's a family orientated guy in terms of he gets the community involved he wants to make uh he wants to make uh that 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 atmosphere and environment in a, in a club where everybody's everybody's a major part um and yeah um he, he did that so like he's got a good relationship with me he made time for my missus you know he's, he's probably uh met my dad and things like that and it's just little things like that um so yeah so I was going to say small details matter than a yeah of course they do yeah it's like a phone call and you, it makes you feel valued we're all human beings aren't we we're all human beings so ultimately it's like in any job if you take the time to gauge a relationship with someone and, and make them feel wanted and, and you're positive around them they're going to perform better so yeah no he's it's uh, he's been like that from day dot so and um it had a lasting effect on you because obviously it did when you were together at Nantwich. But then, if it, Halifax was your next move, you just had an outstanding time at, at the Shade, didn't you? Yeah, um, I love. I, to be fair, I didn't. I, I didn't want to leave Nantwich at the same time. It was. It was. Um, although I'd had interest from league clubs and stuff like that, um, and uh, that that was my ambition. It was still hard to leave Nantwich, uh, and he did try to keep me in a way. Um, but as soon as Halifax came in, he, he said, and he was honest, it was a no-brainer. Um, he knew, obviously, how big Halifax was and, as a non-league club and, well, previously a league club because um, we'd played them in the FA Trophy. So um, he said, go and take it. And uh, To be fair, I didn't start well at Halifax. I didn't get in the team till the October time. Um, I'd had a couple of injuries and... Uh, I remember ringing Billy Eve, um and just I think I'd come on a sub and scored two in two, um, and uh, I just said that I want my chance. You know, I want a fair crack at the whip, and from then, from that point on, I'd literally stayed in the team for the next for the next two three seasons. But how would you describe? I know it's not always easy for players to speak about themselves, but how, how would you? Describe your game, Massey, because I've always thought Billy Heath would have quite a regimented approach. But whenever I I I'd seen you a few times for Halifax, you just seem to have the run of the place. You'd pop up on the left, on the right, through the middle, just darting around, causing mayhem wherever you went. Basically, it seemed to me anyway. Yeah, um, I think from being a young age, um, I, I I was very di- I was always very direct. 
Um, and I, I was always I was always told that defenders don't like people running at them. So I I, I enjoy that part of the game. Um, I think last season again I didn't didn't do it enough, and I think that's that's my strongest point. Um, I've learned things along the way in terms of to play in different positions and receive the ball between lines um, as, a, as a 10 and coming in off the wing and popping up in, like you said, positions where defenders won't follow you. Um, so I'd like to say I can play across the front. Um, but yeah, it's that is my main part of the game. I'm a direct winger um, and at Halifax, um, I think you said it, you, you, you thought Bill might be quite regimented yeah. from the outside. My perspective when I first met him was, I don't know if I don't know if we're going to suit each other, <laughs> um, but, but again, totally different gaffer to Parky. But got so much respect for for Bill because he's he, I enjoyed my time under him so much. Um, he, like I say, I didn't get in the team straight away, so I don't know if he, don't know if he fully believed in me straight away because I don't think he would have known too much about me. Um, but once I got in the team, he's, he's just, the range was off really. Um, he had big Tom Denton up top, um, Josh McDonald on one wing, who was lightning quick, totally different winger to me. Mm -hmm. Didn't score goals, but had loads of assists. Um, really old school winger, um, and uh, Jordan Sinnott, um who's obviously sadly not with us anymore, but he was sort of in the 10 area, mm. um, technically unbelievable. Mm. Um, so we, we had loads of different personalities and different mm. types of players and it, it, it helped. Um, so yeah, the range was off with Bill and he just let me let me pick up my positions. Probably saw that, that, that was the, the best way of, uh, of getting the, be the best out of you. And the other image I can remember from those days as well was the, the ponytail bobbing away. If you, you had a, ch a change of look. Yeah, I just said to Parker, then he said, it's not like you. Because I said, uh, <laughs> let the lads at fire get to me. Um, I think in my head, it, it's, I'm quite, uh, I'm a deep thinker. So I didn't hit the ground running at Fylde. And I thought, five, it's been five years, you know. It's, uh, maybe it's time to go so I ended up letting it go um, right. but yeah um, the new time new haircut <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah a, new, a, a new start a new look but old face managing you so you, you must be really looking really looking forward to playing for Phil again eh? uh, there was a there was a uh, he, he, he probably didn't realise it there was a moment on the phone where we'd verbally agreed it um and it was done and dusted, and we both just started laughing. And it was a, I felt it was um, a real excitement because uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I can't lie. Um, some people will say it's a a step back from actually from when I've got, I, I got the opportunity to go full time, mm. um, and I've come back to someone who's part time. But I, I don't see it like that. And my reasons are: the last time I fully enjoyed football, I was probably part time. Mm. Um, at Halifax and like I say I'm a deep thinker and I think ultimately joining Fylde last year on paper it was a great move they played good football new club on the rise da -da -da. Um, and um, it didn't go it didn't go sorry <laughs> the fire there. it didn't go didn't go down fun. like that um, there was eight or nine signings and none of us did the business um, there was only one who's gone to Stockport, Jordan. Mm. Um, Jordan Williams, he, he was probably the only sign in that had any had anything to come away from it with. Um, I'm big enough to accept that, that I didn't do it. Um, but, you know, like I said, I'm a deep thinker. If, if it's not going well, I'll analyse every little bit of my game or the things I'm not doing. Uh, why am I not doing it? What are you not... What, you know what's not going right, and you, you're getting home at half one in the afternoon because that's the time you finish, and you're getting home, you're on your own because everyone else is at work, and and you constant it's on your mind, and you constantly it consumes you, and when you're going back to it every day, it's, it can be a negative cycle. So you can, you can come up with things, I guess, answers as to what was going wrong and why, but it, it can you can over overthink overthink perhaps, can you? Hundred percent. Yeah, I think sometimes in football the best thing to do is not to think. 
um, not to think, do what you're good at, get on with it. Well, you, you, again, going back to Halifax, you, when I saw you there, which I did several times, um, because I lived around the corner at the time, you looked a very instinctive player. You, you, when you were at your best it's all instinct, little darting runs, going past players, shot from 20 yards into the top corner, whatever it might be. <laughs> Yeah. That seemed to serve you best. I think so. And it was, we had a system, like I say, we had a system that worked. And I would, I'd say a, a lot of, a lot of things that I analysed last year come down to confidence, belief, overthinking, and not doing the little things that got me where I was um, in terms of off the ball movements. Because if I go back to Halifax, the things I did off the ball got me the ball, mm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, you know, counter movements to 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 come and, and get the get the space, um, which would give me that extra bit of time on the ball. Um, I think my fitness is a massive thing that gives me more time on the ball because I won't stop running. Um, and, and yeah, um, I hope it. I hope coming to Alty, uh, if when I earn the right to play. Um, I'll I'll get that freedom where I don't have to stay on the left wing or I don't yeah. have to stay in the ten and I don't have to stay on the right, and that's where you'll pick your, the ball up and you'll you'll get time because the right back won't want to come all the way on on that side of the pitch with you and things mm. like that. So um, yeah, instinctive um, and sometimes less thought is is better. Yeah, and you imagine Phil will encourage. It. Encourage that in you because I, I probably there are probably few football managers who, who know you better than he does and, and what you know what brings the best out of you. Well, yeah, I go back to another thing that he did. Um, uh, it was the first game of the season against I think it was Grantham in his first full season at Namwich, mm -hmm. and um, I'd had a good, I'd had a really good pre-season, and I was thinking this is this is the season, this, let's do it. And the first forty-five minutes, I was horrendous. Like so bad, and he, I, my my head was down, and I was like, "What are you doing?" And I was battering myself in my head, mm -hmm. and he literally at half time, and this is the other side of him. He said, "You've got ten minutes to sort yourself out, otherwise you're off." And he took me off after ten minutes. Did he? Yeah, he took me off after ten minutes, and that, that was the first game of the season. I was thinking, you know, gorgeous day, August. It's meant to be a new beginning, great times. I'd been dragged after 55 minutes and I was like what is going on here um, and I was on the bench I think was it Stocksbridge not Stocksbridge uh, Stourbridge right yeah, yeah. Um, I was on the bench the next game uh, away there and I came on uh, and I didn't look back from there something clicked um, I, it was the ruthless side of Phil um, was I overthinking I beat myself up and I knew I can't. I couldn't do that if I wanted to do well. So, yeah. A short shot, kick up the backside, can sometimes have the same effect as arm around the shoulder or uh, well, yeah, a wise word or two. <laughs> That's what it was, was it? You think a, a jolt? That, as well as everybody else, is going to criticise you. So why do it yourself? Mm. If you're going to do bad, you're going to get told anyway. Mm. So you don't have to be the person to do it to yourself. Mm. Um, so yeah. Do you, you know, while you were obviously trying to um, kind of sort things out and do your best for fire last season, did, did you get much chance to see all see what they were doing? Um, I playoffs. I watched. I paid to watch the playoff game against Chester. Right. Um, uh, I came to watch the playoffs against Blythe last year. Right. Uh, and I thought it was going to be a bad bad omen because I felt like every time I came to watch Alton, he got beat. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and every other week I'd look out for them they'd be doing brilliant so I tried to stay away sometimes um, but the game against Blythe was something else and I, yeah. I said to my missus my missus came with me um, she knows about football now because of me obviously yeah. um, and I said I've never seen a conference North team play football like that yeah. like the way that they kept the ball the, the full backs so confident on the ball Um and it was just a one-way game. Yeah. And he was two 0 down, and I couldn't get yeah. it. I couldn't get my head round it. Um, after watching City last night, I can get. I yeah. can understand it, but um, no. Uh, like I say, unbelievable football. Um, but and 
they they came back to win against Blythe and they yeah. they, came, they they beat Chester. Um, so, uh, sorry, the other game was filed last pre-season. Yeah, not so much the Chester game, obviously, because it, it was behind closed doors. But the the Blythe game did that give you an indication as well of, of what the atmosphere can be like if it's a a big game and and you know the team are playing well and p- delivering. I mean, it was. It was it was quite it was vibrant to say the least, wasn't it? Yeah, especially the last minute goal. Yeah. Um I've known that Alty have had a good following for a while because I know Luca Haven, Jean Luca Haven. Yeah, Luca course, um, yeah. Um and he's always said it's a great club. Yeah. Um and uh played here with Halifax, although it was when Alty was on the decline mm. a little bit, um, during that tough spell. But they they had a they was the the stadium was still full. So yeah. I knew there was good fans um, and Phil said to me, to be fair, when he first came here, he knew he had a bit of a job on his hands um, to change that that mentality or that atmosphere and he's he's done he's done an all right job. It's not bad, yeah. It's <laughs> been a title win, then playoff semi-final, then playoff uh, promotion uh, win. So uh, National League, you know, here we come. And you, just to wrap it up, you must be really relishing the opportunity next season of... Of uh, helping the club to kind of uh, get a foothold at least in, in the national league. Eh? I'm buzzing, honestly. I'm really excited. Um, I've I've recently read a read a book um, called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway, and it's it's just about perception uh, and and how you how you view things. And like I said, some people will probably say he's going back part time. He's uh, he's going to a team that's just come up. I'm seeing it's total opposite. I'm seeing what what what's just happened to Harrogate. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Colty play better football in in the in the transition to going to the national league than when Harrogate did. Mm-hmm. I think they play better football than when uh, when Harrogate went up. Um, Harrogate went full time. I know that's the difference, but I still think we uh, can do can do very well in this league. I honestly do um, with the players that he he's got already the team that he's got the momentum that he's got um, and the players that he's signed I think we can do really really well in this league honestly do Great stuff Matty we're really looking forward to seeing you on the pitch in the red and white stripes but in the meantime thanks very much for sharing your thoughts with us on Alti TV that's Matty Cosillo No problem thank you